today we are going to talk about the XOXO buckle wrap carrier, which is a really interesting new design that I know a lot of people are really curious about. So I wanted to show you the one that we have here. Um, I'm with East Tennessee Valley Baby Wears. And we actually just won this in a competition, um, an online thing with Bohemian Baby, which was really exciting. So we want to give a shout out to them um, and just thank them a lot for their support of the community. So this is the XOXO buckle wrap. It is made, this one specifically, is made with the um, Techme Reprieve. Let's see the Reprieve sticker, pretty cool. Um, so that's made with recycled water bottles, which is really sort of an exciting product in itself. Um, and this is a Techme, the IBC International Beauty Wearing Conference Atlanta uh, 2016 exclusive, which is even more exciting that we have it in our uh, Living Library Carrier Co-op now. So we're really excited about that. But let me tell you a little bit about the actual product itself. And then afterwards, I'll do a couple second video demonstrations on um, how the buckle wrap works. A lot of people are really curious about the product in itself and just finding um, sort of flat shots of it is a little bit hard. So it can be a little hard to envision. So I'm going to show you the whole product as much as I can um, hold up in one screen. So you basically have these two wrap pieces that are sewn onto the waistband and kind of come up and make the X cross passes. And the waistband itself is just a very simple, thin, um, let me show you as I get kind of close. You can see how thin the waistband is. So it really is just like wearing a wrap in a lot of ways. So that's really nice. There's not um, structure to it. There's not padding to it. It's just, I mean, I can wad it up in my hand. So it's just a very thin um, little waistband, which is really nice. You get all of your safety warnings and tags. And then your buckles, nice big um, I like wide buckles personally because they're more comfortable. They don't dig. So you have these nice wide buckles that um, close up your waistband. So the other good thing that's kind of nice about having the um, really thin sort of floppy waistband uh, don't climb, is that you can kind of customize where you want your um, buckle to sit. So if you want it to be more like a may tie because it doesn't have the structure and the padding and you want to put it more um, up under your chest or sort of natural waist, you can put it really um, even lower down if you have a big baby especially and they take up a lot of room on your torso, then you can buckle it down at your natural hips. Um, so really you can customize the fit um, on your torso the way that you want to, which is really nice. So. That is the basic components. I'm going to go ahead and buckle it on to my waist just so you can kind of see how it'll look a little bit. So um, I've got it buckled onto my waist, kind of sitting in the back. And so now you can see um, about how wide the width of the panel or the wraps themselves are on my torso. So you can sort of see how they are going to look. And then when I put baby into a front carry, you've got the two separate panels that are gonna unfold and come up over your shoulders, which is going to make the seat for the baby itself. And then these back passes you can just cross. And the kind of cool thing is if you want to make it more of a poppable carry, you could go ahead and do this before you even like get in a car, just kind of do a half knot and then you would just kind of grab baby and drop them <laughs> into these passes real quick, which I'm going to do for this demo video just to make it a little bit um, quicker. So I'm just going to loosen up my passes right here. I have two X cross passes that I'm going to drop my baby onto. <laughs> Cutter. So <laughs> I'm just going to hold her with one hand, feed her leg into one side, and then I'm going to feed her leg into this other side. 
and you can see how there's not really a need to make any seat because the seat is already made with the waistband itself. But what I can then do is work on spreading out my panels so that way she has really nice knee to knee and deep coverage on the panels themselves. So I'm gonna find the one that's closer on the inside and do all the spreading with that one first. So I'm just gonna take a, pull out the slack and feel around over here on this side. Just kind of reach on the inside and make sure that that second panel is going all the way across to her knee over here just to give her lots of nice wide support. Especially with a toddler, it's just a little handier. And then I'm going to do my second side. So as you can see, this is going to make a really nice poppable carry for when you're going into grocery stores. And I'm gonna undo this tie real quick just to tighten it up. So tighten, I'm just gonna pull, pull and bounce. And again, from there, I can just take my passes if I want to, do a crisscross under her bottom, go under her legs, and then do a double tie up in the back. So quick, poppable variation. I'm gonna do another video in just a minute with a less poppable variation, but this is just to show you kind of the generic um, basics of how the carrier will work. So it's really nice and supportive because of the wrap straps. So really basic. Um, it's not as complicated as it kind of looks when you first start trying to figure out the carrier. It's a really nice, she wants some milk now that she's in the snuggly <laughs> snuggly carrier position so it is you know nice snuggly front carry if these passes get kind of in baby's way you can always do a shoulder flip and pull them over your shoulder somewhat just to open up baby's face a little bit more all right we're gonna take her out so we can put her back in and do a second um front carry video for you real quick so we'll see you again in a minute Mommy.